One of the terms for a mind in concentration is mahagatang jitang, the expanded mind, or the enlarged mind. You want to expand your mind so that your ordinary pleasures and pains start seeming a lot smaller in comparison. Pleasure and pain are big issues, and our mind is a little tiny mind. Narrow in its concerns, narrow in its perspective, it's going to be overwhelmed. The Buddha gives the image of a lump of salt. If you put the lump of salt in a little tiny cup of water, the water is going to be unfit to drink. It'll be too salty. If you put it in the river Ganges, here, are assuming that the river is not polluted, even though it may be a big lump of salt, the water is still drinkable because there's so much more water in comparison. And it's the same with the mind. You can enlarge your mind, expand your perspective. A lot of the pains and discomforts you ordinarily complain about will start seem smaller and smaller. Now, there are different ways of expanding the mind. One is to expand it throughout the body. Once you find that breath is comfortable, if you've got breath sensations that feel really good and satisfying in one part of the body, start thinking of that sense of comfort streaming throughout the rest of your body. See where it can go. Just tell yourself, open up all the channels, wherever that refreshing sensation can go. And to maintain the whole body as your frame of reference. This way, even though there may be pains and aches in some parts of the body, you realize you don't have to Put all your attention with the pains and the aches. Or some parts of the body may be feeling in the heat. Here it is well after sunset, and it's still hot outside. But if you look carefully in your body, you realize that not every part of the body is equally hot. Some parts are cooler. You focus on the cooler parts. maximize those. This is one of the advantages of having an enlarged mind. You see there's more to choose from. And you can take whatever sense of comfort or relative comfort there may be, and you can make the most of it. As your frame is larger like this, you're not overwhelmed by any particular sensation. Another way of enlarging your mind is through developing goodwill for all beings. It helps to take your mind off your little personal pains, your little personal problems. and No matter how big those problems may be, it helps to see them as little. As you think about all the human race, and then all living beings beyond the human race, now they all want happiness, and a lot of them are worse off than you are right now. It helps to put your own personal problems into perspective. you have this enlarged awareness, you begin to see that the way you suffer from physical pain, mental pain, it's not just the individual pain or the sensation of pain. It's the whole state of becoming that you've been constructing around it. The identity based around the desire to have that pain go away. and your sense of the importance of that pain 
that fills the world of your experience. This is why you want to enlarge your mind. You get a different sense of the world. You can put your pains into perspective. In other words, you're creating a different state of becoming around a different desire, around a different sense of the world, a sense of yourself. And from this new perspective, you can look back on the old states of becoming that you created around the pain, the old states that really were totally absorbed in the pain. And you can start taking them apart. You can say, okay, where is the actual suffering here? You look at the physical pain, and on its own, it turns out it's not all that much. There's a cryptic statement in the canon that says, with regard to becoming, that by whatever means you construe it, it becomes otherwise than that. In other words, whatever you take as the raw material for your state of becoming, as soon as you've created a state of becoming from that, the raw material's already changed. Things change that fast. So one of the skills in learning how to get past the state of becoming that weighs down the mind is to look for those raw materials. As the Buddha says, you becoming is based on clinging, clinging is based on craving, craving is based on feelings. So you want to chase it back to those feelings. What is the actual sensation that provoked you into creating that state of becoming to begin with? If you can track it down, you find that it's a lot more ephemeral than you originally thought. pain, physical pain. These things arise from moment to moment to moment. And if you create a state of becoming in which you're on the receiving end of these things, it's like you've got this big basket that's collecting all those little pains and keeping them all together. Or you're stitching them all together. That's another image from the canon. Craving is the seamstress that stitches all these little sensations to one big clinging and one big state of becoming. So you've got to learn how to cut the thread. So instead of seeing yourself on the receiving end of these things, sometimes it's helpful to watch them receding away. Think of yourself sitting in the back of a station wagon facing backwards. And as soon as you notice the pain, it's already going away from you. It's going away from you, going away from you. And you begin to realize that you've been creating all these humongous states of mind, states of becoming, which seem so solid and so real and so important. On sand, it's just flowing away, flowing away, flowing away all the time. Now, to see this clearly requires that you get the mind good and settled. This is where the enlarged mind comes in. This is why you want to enlarge your awareness. So you can have a much more all-encompassing view of what's happening. so that you're not totally surrounded by that state of becoming. And you're not buying into the idea that there's this huge pain that's just constantly weighing down on you. That's so oppressive. As the mind gets more enlarged, these things get to seem a lot smaller. There's that line in a John, one of a John Lee's teachings. He says, Pleasure and pain, don't give them a second thought. Think them as words that people speak in jest. Now, to see your own pleasures and pains in that light requires that your mind get really large. Your perspective gets large. The actual sensation of your awareness filling the body, or the sensation of your awareness extending to goodwill to all beings in all directions. It's not confined to the 
pains you're feeling right here, right now. But your awareness spreads around. It really changes the perspective, changes the, the balance of power. That's where you want to work on enlarging your mind.